We're going sailing today, which should be the perfect opportunity to get some great B-roll, except it isn't usually. So when all of the movement on the boat is happening, like we're tacking, we're wenching up lines, we're shifting the boat from leeward to windward, leeward, <laughs> I have to be an extra pair of hands on the boat. So usually I can't grab the camera and get the best B-roll. I've also filmed us being on the bay like a million times already. So the footage is starting to feel a little stale to me. It becomes very dependent on what kind of animals or waves we're getting and the wind. So instead, I'm gonna focus a lot more on my movement today, trying to get similar movement actions. And then also I'm gonna focus on the object transitions where it's similar objects. So the sun is round, the wenches are round, the bow of the ship is triangular, the sails are triangular. Hopefully I can tie all of this in together. Also another tip that I have found is that if you see an animal off on the distance and it's very hard to spot, if you follow their movement, it attracts the eye to the very small location. So I am going to try and focus on moving the camera at a steady speed with the animal to keep your attention on that animal. That's about all I can do today. <laughs> and then of course, as usual, I'm just gonna have some fun with it. I think that is the main thing always to remember when trying to get good B-roll. If you feel inspired by it, it's something to capture. All right, so I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and letting Steven do all the work and actually help out. I have pretty much set up the whole boat and Steven is just checking everything now. So we are about to set sail, but before we do that, a couple things to note. One from yesterday and one for today. So for yesterday, I did talk about the white balance, the auto white balance, and I do think that that did mess me up with my sunset quite a bit. But also I think I needed to do some research on if there will be a pretty sunset. So according to Google, there needs to be a certain percent of cloud coverage, a humidity level, and there was something else and I can't remember it, and I forgot my notebook. But researching those things would have been beneficial before attempting a sunset video. So that's good to note. And also for today, Steven bought some binoculars. In my head, I'm gonna hold up the binoculars and bring the camera up to it and hopefully that will be a cool transition so that you guys can see it through the looking glass of the binoculars. I don't know if it'll work, but that's the idea. That being said, let's get the ball on the road or the boat on the ocean. Wait, it's already on the ocean, let's, let's go. All right, so we are out here sailing, but I'm gonna admit I already messed up for today's B-roll. I was focusing on what kind of angles and shots and my movement and transitions I should be trying to look out for today. And I forgot the main point of B-roll is to tell a story within itself. <sighs> At least it is with cinematic vlogging. Because if you're not telling a story with it, you're basically just showing a bunch of pictures, which is fine, but it's not my goal. So for storytelling, I could have broken this up into leaving the dock, being out there sailing, and coming back to the dock. That's a beginning, middle, and end. If I wanted to put the B-roll in a longer video where the whole video consists of B-roll and me talking, it would have been B-roll of us pulling out of the dock, us putting up the sails, and probably shutting off the motor and showing us with our sails full of wind propelling forward. And then it would have been a day out sailing, and then us coming back, putting down the sails, catching the boat, turning off the motor, and probably walking away hand in hand after a good day of sailing. So there's two ways I could have done this B-roll with storytelling and I didn't do either one. <laughs> also, it is like no wind out here, no one is out here. So the chances of me getting really interesting footage today is slim to none. And the only story I can come up with today is what it is like for us to be out sailing for a day already on the water. And if nothing's happening on the water, it's gonna make for really hard storytelling. So hopefully I can come up with something. But yes, the first thing I should have remembered is plan what the story is going to be with the images before you try and figure out what shots you need to get. I went a little reverse there. But fingers crossed, I can come up with something. Let's see what I get. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not 
standing by the shore while you're on the open sea cannot take this anymore there are a lot of voices Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid Okay, so I know I've already mentioned this, but we have binoculars today. And because it's such an easy day sailing, and there's not enough wind to practice with tacking, I've just been looking out with the binoculars all day. And there's a compass at the bottom. So I can say, hey, look at 190. And then our boat also has a compass. I don't know if you guys can see it. Damn it, auto white balance, an aquameter. It's the same thing as the compass. So I'm seeing something at 190 coming into the water very big, not porpoise-like, not seal-like, I think it might be a whale. And we are headed in the same direction. And if it's a whale, it means there's a good chance that I might be able to see it up close. If we ever get out there, we are going like 1.5 knots. Huh? You said it was something. It's not a seal and it's not a porpoise. They, that wasn't porp, there was no fin at the top. So what could it be if it's not that? In any case, hopefully we'll get close enough to see it. But I really do enjoy the fact that I can look out with these binoculars and be like, there is wildlife in the water ahead that I normally wouldn't see. And also know that we are headed in the same direction based on the compass direction. It brings a whole new element to sailing that is very exciting. So if you guys do sail and you don't have binoculars, which I doubt you guys don't have binoculars, honestly, but if you don't, get some. Also, if anyone knows, I have a Sony ZV-1F I'm looking for a zoom lens. The binoculars are 10 by 50. If I could get a zoom lens that is around that, that is compatible with a Z Sony ZV-1F, let me know. I think it would be a whole like game changer out here. Because at this point, the only way I'm seeing to capture nature in a good way is with like a $1,200 camera. And that's not gonna happen for a few years, if that's the case. Oh, and then inflation. So who knows when? But yeah, let me know. It's a whale. It is 100% a whale. I'm seeing the tail fins up in the water. That's, that's, there's a speedboat coming like right at it. So hopefully it doesn't scare it away. I think I might have a secret hatred for speedboats. Oh, really? Is it obvious? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't think I like speedboats. If the speedboat doesn't scare it away, it is there. That is a whale. I know whale flippers fins. What are they? bottom halves when I see them. Tail. Tails. <laughs> it's a whale though. 
I do believe the speedboat scared off what I believe to be a whale. I don't see it anymore, but at the same time that I was seeing sightings of a whale that I believe, two porpoises were semi-close, but off in the distance. And we're still seeing signs of them, but they're really far out. Like again, I need binoculars to see them. Hopefully they'll be hanging around enough that I can get you guys a shot of it. But just so you know, today's been really cool. <laughs> At least there's that. One of my favorite things about this challenge has been getting out there and experiencing new things, but I'm pretty sure today I'm not gonna get the shot. And that is okay because I've experienced it. It'd be lovely if I got the shot, but being out here for myself has been wonderful. And with my partner. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the mist delight We are heading in now. We are going 2.2 knots, but in the wrong direction of where I saw it. I saw, I'm pretty sure I saw a whale. And I, when I first saw it, I was like, that's humpback. And I didn't know if we got that out here, but we do. We, it's orcas and humpbacks. And I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 positive that I saw some parts of a humpback whale very far away. That was magical, that was perfect. I don't care what kind of shots I get today. Honestly, experiencing all these things, trying to get the B-roll has proven worth the challenge. So yeah, we're gonna head back in. I had a great day, I hope you are too, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing by why you're on the open sea Cannot take this